Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill in the rain. I'm trying to be a good guy. On. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, <laughs> and any companies you own. Your holdings are... Yeah, who, 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 who did who this? Authorized this? I hmm? know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. Oh, it came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. Did he know? As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Mm, well, he's corrupt. Has Fuck a him. History of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne. That's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for Yeah, he's such a great guy. For all our sakes. Nothing could possibly happen to him. Oh, come on, guys. Be careful. Oh, it's gonna be a fault of his fucking parents. He's gonna cry over his dead parents. Come on. Also, would the police officer that, like, did that is just such a dick? Who does that? Stay back! Take whatever you want! You... you don't have to do this! God, do you think he's traumatized? Bruce? Bruce? I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... <laughs> it's the problem. It's... I want to so say, keep showing up and uninvited, but I'm going to be the nice guy. First I want to be the nice office, guy. Now Wayne Manor? <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. <laughs> really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What do you need? What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette I don't received believe that. this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, mm. allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Well, it's Falcone, Someone isn't it? going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. It's obviously Falcone. No one's even done their due diligence on this yet. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, yeah. this scandal will be broadcast to Batman coming out there in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record, right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. Turn no. off, Miss Vale. Oh, but Bruce... Until I know what's really going on, I am not speaking to the press again. Well, that's a quote right there. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. 
I mean, either way, it's going to get used against me. So it doesn't matter what I say. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family? We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. Oh, wow. This, on the anniversary of your parents, not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Wait, hold on. It could have been, uh... Didn't. It could have been Penguin, though. They've turned the winds against us. It could have been, uh... Yeah, it could have been Oz. Cafe Tristy? Christ? Oh my god, hello. A warrant? A warrant. What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. You don't know? You tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah. Then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computer, it always amazes me that Bruce can do files, all this without having bitch. any security. Goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. I'm trying to be nice. Okay. I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both. Trying to be nice. Move. I want to show him. Two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, he would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. Just keep your distance. You should probably distance yourself from me. What? No, no, I can't do that. Well, you, well, you can't be with me, and you can't be that. without me, you... so like... There you are. Hey, you. Sorry, I got a habit of being late. Um, oh, no, just glad you made it. That's a nice black eye you've got there. Uh. <laughs> um. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. Oh, yeah, this just a friend. Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. I'm. Just election nonsense. Oh, Harvey hasn't mentioned you. Never mentioned you before. Oh, really? That's interesting. What was your name again? It's Selena. Selena Kyle. Good to know. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, Whoa. sorry. Whoa. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're Great. an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess... So, uh, what happened to your eye? <laughs> tour buses around got, a, got a quite a black eye there. Did you get that shiner? Bruce? What? It's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? What? I wanted to know. I was mugged. Uh, I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Didn't the police well, help? Terrible. Did they the guy? <laughs> Not yet. But if they don't, I will. Okay. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. Might uh -oh. hope not. These were important materials. Ooh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm going to explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. <laughs> what is it you so, this is amazing. What do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock See. market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? No. I'll handle it. <laughs> Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. 
Hey, it's Harvey. Hmm. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Batman. Nice to meet you. So, um, nice to meet the real you. In case you're getting any ideas, no one would believe you. <laughs> right. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. <laughs> Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention everyone in this cafe. <laughs> sorry about the eye. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something though. I do what I do for money, but you're Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? He's a lunatic. I have He's to. Insane. But you. I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. You have something that belongs to me. No, I don't. I want it back. What are you talking about? I this lost is it. It's awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. Who hired you to break into the mayor's office? My clients prefer to remain confidential. They don't know who I am, I don't know who they are. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. And neither do I. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. Oh ho ho. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. I can help you. I can beat I these guys. I help. You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. No. Not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address now. No, give me the drive. I don't exactly have it on me, do I? You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. Then you're going to die. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. I bet we're in my cat suit then, huh? Fifteen minutes ago. Ugh. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? I've really got shit to do. To, I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Hmm. I'm gonna give her a second block, eh? Gotham Docks Warehouse. All right. Off to the docks we go. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. Usually this, um... This engine runs like crap, but it looks so freaking good here. I think this is their 2.0 engine. This wasn't a handoff, it was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Gross. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. 
I like the suit. The suit's really cool. Oh, illiteral pieces. Great. Nothing left to bury. Find additional evidence. Yeah, they're super cool as well. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Well, obviously the entrails are linked to the scorch marks. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. Obviously. The chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. Let's look at those guys. Outfits before. Why wasn't he blown up? Same mercs that broke into City Hall. What's in this hole? The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Yeah, I think that would have hurt. Wouldn't have protected you against that. Can we open it? Ah, there is a design on it. There is also a bullet hole. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Are we dealing with like dead shot here? Hmm. It's a cop. This has been shot up. grows thinner every day. He didn't die from the explosion, though. The unscorched area. Oh yeah, it looks like there was a van there. Was here when the explosion occurred. Hmm. Dead mercenary. Dead cop. A oh, burnt cop. Blood, broken nails, bits of human flesh. This man's been badly burned, but the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. Inside the skull. What did this? Hmm. Uh, what are you doing? Sensors say it's an incendiary route. Phosphorus residue. Oh, this could of have course. superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Hmm. No. That bad? Bad. Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. No. Got a gun though. Skyline Club. Well, that's where I'm going next. Hmm. Let me head up. I feel like if it was a gunshot thing, maybe the maybe the shooter would be high up. Can I link this to the bullet hole. Find oh yeah, check the check the bullet size maybe. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. 
Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. A white rose. White rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Oh, so the ripped up face will be from the broken claw, uh, broken hands, claws, the broken nails. A cop shredded this merc to pieces. Barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. No scarecrow, maybe? Uh, so I've linked them. What hasn't been linked yet? Oh, there's a guy up there as well. Um. I can't like the bullet holes. Can I? I think it was seal. Yeah, you're right. Wedding pallets? Hmm. Wedding pallet? Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Mm, can't link that. The only things left. The blast and the unscorched area. I don't. How could they connect though? Yes, there was a canister there, and yes, there was something that. Yeah, a big van in the way. Off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. Why did he try kill Selena? One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Uh. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turn grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No. But based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Grappling gun. It surely must have been here. This is like... The cool area. Both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. Oh, I mean, that's the cool area. All right, we'll head over there then. a trace and a handprint obviously for a spike clear vantage point we have a winner can I look at the handprint this is the right spot so where did he go Um, 
downstairs, I guess. He stops here. And he he jumped down the railing. Line. Found him. Oh god, he died. Time to go to work. Oh, is he still alive? <laughs> oh. My turn. <laughs> Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Balcone, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. You didn't do this alone. Where are the others? Long gone. You won't find them. Ow. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. Batman's fucked up, man, and I love it. Break his bones, go for it. Oh my guy's gonna use a pipe. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. Well, tell me that cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive at the container number we needed, but she flaked. Right. So we had to find it ourselves. Container by container. Someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. Oh, no. I start here. And keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Falcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an animal! I was just here for a pickup! I swear! You're fat! <laughs> You'll never hold a gun steady again. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Oh. Those are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. Oh, well, I'm... I was wrong. I'm gonna need that ambulance, too. That was fucking gross. What the hell's going on tonight, Lieutenant? But, uh... That man. Bruce Wayne's a good guy, Batman's the bad guy. That's what I'm that's how I'm playing it. You're taking this too far, Bruce. Maybe I did. I don't know. But then he's not a good guy, so fuck him. You can still use his arm to write books. Maybe you should go into poetry or something. Don't Fucking hold guns for the rest of your life. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're actually just a bitch. Your parents didn't raise you this way. What? And neither did I. He's still alive. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. Okay. Uh, next time it might be the morgue. I'm not going to kill people. Now, Fuck. This preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. When was the last you time someone died from a broken arm, Alfred? Than being murdered for it. My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. Don't judge me on the actions of Batman. You're a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Sometimes this job 
requires hard decisions. You're the right man to make them. Well, In stop fact, judging me when I make hard I decisions. The only one who can. Fuck. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. Oh, I'm not going to tear them up. That's I just, that's forget. too much. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. Oh, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything. And it goes back years. Do you see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. Damn right. That reporter from the Gazette. I doubt you all, though. Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. Hmm. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. It's tough because... Vicky Vale could blow the whistle. But then would people believe it? And would the police believe it? If I gave it to Gordon... I mean, the Mayor, Mayor Hill, or whatever, is, uh, is corrupt anyway. So no matter what I do... Um, if I give it to Gordon, there's a huge, there's a big chance it would just be ignored. It would just be thrown under the rug. But if I give it to Vicky Vale, hmm, it might end up fueling the uh, the uprising that Oz was talking about. I mean, I trust Gordon. I do trust Gordon, but what can he do? If his hands are tied, and then Vicky, Vicky's just a reporter. She gives no help here. What's also freaking me out is the fact that uh, both Bruce and Alfred are staring right at me to make this choice. Um, this is a telltale choice right here. Uh, I'm gonna have to go for Al, uh, not Alfred. I'm gonna have to go for Gordon because I think he can help the most. But can he, though? Right. The cops are on the front lines of this war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police. And Batman... By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. Also, if the police no know, they can feed it to the news. I have and still do the public opinion.
this. This is a silver bullet. And it's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still, I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. Everyone on the force will too. We've been looking for this kind of firepower for years. I trust you. I heard you were the last honest man on the force. No need to blow smoke. I got enough cancer coming my way as it is. <laughs> but thank you. Honestly. Knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. <laughs> I'll sleep like a goddamn baby. For once. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. The Wayne's always supported the Gotham police. So I like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. There are no strings attached. I just want Falcone gone. You and me both. I'm tired of staring at his mugshot. I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. He just smoked his whole way there back. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. When the drawn characters Thanks, look Bruce. better than the streamer, that's not very nice. Oh, Lieutenant. Hey there, Pika. How you doing? Stick to Jim. Oh, we're on first name basis now. We're friends. Yes. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Though you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. That car is just way too nice. Of course the car can change. Of course it can. I mean, it's pretty badass though. Oh my god, he's all- oh my god. Dude. It's against, uh... Pretty sure he's broke speed limit there. You're tired, dude? That sucks, man. He's just been working. Uh, that building has no bottom. That's a floating building. Cool, Fort Buildings, yeah. I love it. The drone's cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. Alright. Let's find Falcone. I love the rain effect, that's super cool. Right, where's Good Falcone point. then? That oh that's not him. Oh, is that a point of interest? Nope, yep. <laughs> Tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? <laughs> Only one of them is organized. Uh, uh, <laughs> You're cute. Oh. So, uh, are you alone? Not anymore, I'm not. Oh, well, that was easy. What we heard? What we heard? Yeah, no broken bones. Still healing from the last time, I bet. All it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my ass. I know you burned powder tonight. The whole city can smell it. I hope that guy with the broken arm is here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Takes me back to Metal Gear Solid. Is he, this guy's telling a joke? No. All right, the upper level. Anything? Oh, you—you you guys are talking, like sly talking. 
Yeah, there's nothing there either. Can I go higher up? No. Oh, well, that's... Is that him? That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. We can try to ring the doorbell. Four armed guards. Oh my god, they Stealth have guns runners. inside their bodies. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. Why is stealth not an option? Stealth absolutely is an option. Also, how come no one can see this obvious drone flying about? Uh, you're up till 6.15 working. Got an hour of sleep, Jesus. And you're on standby. That fucking sucks. I thought you were leaving that job. You're way too committed. He's in too deep and he's trying to keep his power converters running in case they go down. What am I looking for? I think this is us, right? Mobster. Couple of options for taking this guy down. Link thugs in the environment to, to plan your takedown. What? Hmm. I need to get the jump on him. I think I'll I'll jump on him. AC style. I mean, it's kind of like uh, Batman Arkham in a really weird way. Uh, can we use the staircase? Oh no, he needs to be hit off the pillar. Yeah. Not come into the pillar. 100%. <laughs> Bear hug him into the pillar. I don't know why he can't just use stealth. But whatever. Oh yeah, there's this guy. Oh no, he's not. I thought he was a guy. Oh, there's a mobster over there. Oh, this guy's on a couch. Can we push him on the other couch? No. I can put him for the table though. Or the folding screen. Hmm. I think he's gotta go for the table. WWE style. Is that a choke slam? Oh, face into the table. Alright, we'll take that. And uh, the last one. Oh yeah, this guy. This one might be tricky. Any ideas? I've got it covered out. I want to put him through the TV. <laughs> All right, this guy. Through the window? Oh, there's a hanging light. The plant pot? The pillar? I think you can only use the hanging light on this one. Bit lame. Or maybe I could have used the... Uh... Hey there, degenerate. Ah, right, so I'll already be on the second floor at that point. Maybe. Oh. Have you formulated your plan of attack? I have formulated the plan of attack. Let's do it. I'm going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. Let's do it. <laughs> Stealthy. Oof. Right into the pillar.
Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oof. What if you got kicked out of the window? Damn right, it's the fucking Batman. Oh, hey guys. Help if I had to press the right buttons. I fucking pressed that. Oh. Goddamn circus freak! Oh, hello. Oh, he just shot off his own dudes. That's brutal. Show yourself. You got no goddamn right to be here. Through the window would have been a wall killer. Open. How about this one? You can't sneak up on me. Well, where am I, huh? Where am I, bitch? You think that's gonna work? I mean, it did. Oof, through the window. Get your goddamn hands off of my suit! Oh, right for the ZVs. Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You've got a lot to learn, kid! Uh, I'm not sure you can do a playthrough where you, have to, where you can fail all the QTEs because uh, there are some that you need to do. Explosives armed. To pass, otherwise you die. You can miss a lot of them though. Yeah, it'd be like the worst Batman ever. Oh, I just realized I could have put that in his fucking uh, You've lost, hand. Falcone. I can get up a few more rounds. <laughs> all right, all right. The chemicals. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The white rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? <laughs> yeah, something reeks about this old thing. So even he's been settled then. Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals get so riled up about. They're mine, all right? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I. I did not make that mess at the dock. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Ha! Gotham. How did he tie his hands behind them and then end up in front? Never mind. Spill it, Falcone, while you still can. I'm not going to brutalize them. I could have brutalized them. The wings. They're behind all this. What do you mean? You want to save this city? Well, the wings are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Did Bruce Thanks, not Bruce. know this? 
Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! Guys, what the fuck? Whatever. So, <laughs> music's music's having a moment. Did the game crash or? It's funny actually. I was getting prepped. I was getting set up earlier on the menus, Fire and, smoke could report and the game crashed on me. Street level tonight. The Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue. Falcone has slipped through the law. Can't say that on the news. But after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about: the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here in the company of gangsters, may be just as crooked as his parents. Wayne even refused to go on record when asked to defend his family's legacy. See, I you told know, you it would get used against me. Our golden family are corrupt. Who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. Nice entrance, Bruce. Suit. The car. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built! I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die! If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Oh, he mad. Oh, he mad. And that's the end of episode one. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> you and 32% of players shut Harvard out of the private meeting, obviously. I mean, maybe I should have had Harvey in there. I don't know. I don't know what difference that would have made. Uh, you and 14% of players chose a press blackout. Why would people talk to the... Why would you ever talk to the press after... Yeah, I love the stats too. Why would you ever talk to the press after your fan was being accused of, like, murdering everyone in Gotham? Fuck that. Uh, did you break the, the shooter's arm? You and almost 50% of players broke the arm. Um, oh god, what if I'm going to see him again? The fact that it ended up on this list means that... Oh, Troy Baker was uh, Bruce Wayne. Huh, that's interesting. wonder if there's any other... No? Quite a small cast. Um... Well, see, Pika, the thing is, is that in these in these games, no matter what choice you do, you kind of get pushed in the direction um, either way. So whether I spoke to the press or not didn't, doesn't really make a difference in the story. But I j I'm just saying in general, why would you ever... Doesn't matter. 72% <laughs> of people gave the data to Lieutenant Garden. That makes sense. I mean, why would you give it to Vicky? It just doesn't make sense. Why would you give it to the media, really? I mean, 
there's like good grounds for giving it to the media, but they're not going to be any help to you. Other than maybe trying to get the people on your side. But then the police will just do that anyway, so it wasn't matter. How did Batman deal with Falcone at the end? You and 82% of people showed restraint and handed him over to the police. There we are, those are the stats, so... Continue to next time on. Yeah, that's freaking cool. I wonder why they didn't use Gary Oldman, because he was too expensive. And also this isn't set in the movie universe. This is its own, own thing. Alright, let's see what's next time on Batman Episode 2. When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. Your parents were good people, Bruce, no matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. Swear to me. Swear to me. Yeah, what you brought me on Falcone held up. Maybe I misjudged you. Now Batman's beating up mobsters too. Spoilers. Wonder who he's after next. Mm. Oh no. Hell of a view. Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham? I have to... distance myself. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way. Whew. 